Okay, um, this video is about this uh, uh, Ryobi or Roby, I don't know how you pronounce it, kind of a goofy spelling. Anyway, uh, the nice thing about it is, is it's quiet and it does last a fairly long time if you get the uh, larger battery. Um, what I didn't like about it is the battery is quite heavy. It's probably large enough to start your uh, garden tractor. Um, and if you get the larger battery, uh, you're going to tire up and you find yourself switching arms back and forth. Uh, the other thing that was uh, I found bad about this Ryobi was this, uh, which is uh, this switch here. See, it's broken. I added this this metal piece to it uh, with a screw. I, I drilled and uh, put the screw on it to hold it. Because when you rest these things, you, you tend to rest them sometimes and that switch hits and the awful weight of the battery uh, is quite heavy and it, it cracks that cheap plastic switch uh, they, they put on there. The other thing I, I didn't like about it is it's a, it's a, it's a multi-function thing. I mean, you can index it and, and that just adds to the weight. Yeah, great. Those are my peacocks. Never mind them. Um, and then on the head part that uh, I found annoying is you can see it, it shakes back and forth. So that's a, a bad bushing in the uh, motor system. So it's almost like it's, it's not made to last. Um, and also when uh, your weed cutting if you're if you're if you're cutting tall weeds like uh, small vines and whatnot They tend to get caught up in here and when they get caught uh, the only way you can get them out is with like a needle nose pliers You have to you know kind of jam it in there and, and pick them out one at a time There's no way of getting this head off. There's no stop. There's no nothing to hold the head uh, so you can unscrew it Which is a bad design you almost have to take this whole motor apart uh, in order to hold the spindle so that you can unscrew this thing. At least I haven't found any any way of stopping it from rotating, so you can't counterclockwise remove it like some of them indicate. So, you know, other than that, it's quieter. It starts right up. Um, it's better than the gas stuff. Sometimes uh, they, uh, they only seem to last a couple years too before the carburetors uh, need rebuilding. And a lot of that is because of that uh, diaphragm inside that goes uh, gets hard. And then the weed whacker, the gas operated one, stop uh, functioning. They don't come up to speed or they uh, don't start at all. And you have to rebuild the carbs or just buy a new one. Uh, a new carb or, or new weed whacker. Two years maybe, uh, three at the most. And a lot of that has to do with the... Uh, shut up! It has to do with the, the, the fuel when it dries on the carburetor over time. Each time it, it adds and eventually the thing gets hardened. My Ryobi after I uh, just finished the uh, video about it and its problems uh, as you can see, the motor totally died out, at, and uh, I just tore it apart here, uh, so you can see what it looks like. It's not salvageable at all. I mean, the way it's uh, made, it's a it's a throwaway, um, and uh, it was very hard to uh, take apart. So, in a way, uh, I'm now left with a good battery, and um, the spool to it uh, for the uh, weed whacker, uh, which is kind of useless. I think I'm going back to uh, use uh, getting uh, a gas one now. Uh, this didn't last too long. Three years for that kind of money uh, doesn't make sense, you know. So 
Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, visit us at LarryandJane.com.